Hey everybody, welcome back to yet again another video. I hope you're all doing amazing and staying safe out there. If you don't know who I am, hi, hello, my name is Janessa and this is a nail channel. So you guys, I am super excited for today's video. I have the opportunity of reviewing an African-American owned nail brand called Sherub Nails. It's seriously the cutest company ever. I'm gonna link a little video clip right here of what her website looks like. It is absolutely adorable. Wait until I get into the details of what this girl has in store because I was literally blown away when I was diving into everything that she has. This girl is literally a boss. All her products are vegan free, cruelty free, and nine free. I didn't know what nine free meant when I was first reading her description on her website, but it means that her products contain no harmful toxins, basically. But I just think that's so cool that she literally spent time, energy, money, and educating herself on all of the things that goes in to creating nail products to make sure that she gives the absolute best to her clientele just five stars for me, girl. I think that is so cool. And also, all her products are made here in the USA. So when I met her and talking to her, I actually found out that Shereb Nails is a sister company to The Cottage Kind. And The Cottage Kind sells amazing things, such as face products. She sells face scrubs, face buffers. She sells body mousses, body butters. She sells home fragrances, and she even sells some of the cutest clothes, girl. And I was looking at these chunky sweaters. I was like, I need to grab one of those. So cute. She's also going to be coming out with some hair products soon, so make sure you keep a lookout for that. Her packaging is so nice. Her prices are super fair. So please support small businesses. You guys know I'm a big fan of supporting the small businesses. And on top of that, it's, you know, the crazy season right now. I can't say the name of the sickness or else when my videos get monetized, then it will be demonetized. But you know, times are tougher right now than ever before. So if you have the money, please support her. I'm gonna be linking her website in the description. Everything I use will be in the description below as always. But without further ado, if you would like to unbox this with me and do this fun little nail set, then please keep watching. Bye. Today's channel shout out goes to Zoe Beautiful Nails. She's trying to grow her channel. She does some amazing work. So go ahead and subscribe to her. Here is the gorgeous PR box that I got. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably saw a little sneak peek of it. If you order from her, it's probably not gonna come exactly like this. This was just kind of for, you know, the YouTube video. Absolutely adorable. So this is what they sent over to me. I got two different colors of nail glitter. I got a big thing of cuticle oil. It smells so good. It's the angel fruit scent two different packs of 3d nail charms i got these really cute like opalescent hearts and then these light pink baby pink flowers adorable and then four builder gels so this is the pink one this was my first time working with builder in a bottle and the viscosity of it is very interesting i really liked it super thick it's kind of stringy super fun to work with and it's very strong too and then this is going to be the clear one so here's all the swatches. Um, I'm gonna cure them for 30 seconds and this is what they look like. I'm skipping my nail prep today. In my next video on Tuesday, I'm doing a very in-depth tutorial. So be ready for that. A lot of you guys ask me what I use for my peel off base coat and I recommend the UNT peel off. It's absolutely amazing. And then for today's tutorial, I'm going to be using nail forms for my very first time. I tried a couple forms before I ended up like filming this nail. This was a trial and error for me, but this was my favorite one. It was the most sturdiest. And literally I feel like forms is just one of those things you just have to try a couple times. So the Builder Gel in a Bottle, um, I my first two nails I had to do off camera because I really just needed to practice and try it and get down what worked for me. So the thing that I realized was that it worked easier if I kind of just did my nail plate first. You're going to see a lot of re repetition in this video. I take my flashy lamp and I'm constantly curing in between each layer that I do. Um, with the Builder Gel, you can see me like kind of just hover it and move it back and forth from place to place. You don't, you don't use this like nail polish, you know, so you don't see me swiping on my nail. You literally, like when you put 
the um the brush on your nail you'd never like take it completely off like you like you just kind of hover it back and forth over and over until you need to flash cure it if you don't flash cure it then it's going to run um, this product is very runny and so every time i used it i hurry and flash cured hurry and flash cured and that seemed to help me a lot um, these nails could become very thick if you didn't do that and so the little flash curing in between you know made the biggest difference when you're using a nail form there's a divot between your natural nail and where the nail form is and so i found it to be a lot easier for me to um, completely cover my nail plate cure it and then i went on the nail form and started building it up to meet my natural nail uh, if you've ever used this before you'll know what i'm talking about because if you don't do that you're gonna have like mountains and hills in your nails from all the different places that you're putting the builder gel you have to make sure it's very even so you'll see me put it on my nail plate right now and then when i cure that there's like a little there's like a little you know mountain between where my nail is and where the um, nail form is so then i just focus on the nail form part and i build that up so that you'll see right here i'm going to build it up so that it meets it meets the same height of my natural nail um, and the thing I like about this too is like it may seem like this is taking me a long time But this was faster for me to do this than do like a regular set of poly gel nails uh, And yeah, like it was crazy. I did this one hand after I got it down I did this I could do this one hand in 30 minutes. That's how fast it was um, And it was so strong, you know, the only thing that takes the time is the filing But if you can make sure that you have like you'll see on my pinky my pinky nail was the best because I finally had it down like perfectly, you know um, But if you form it in like a really nice shape Then the filing isn't is, isn't gonna be long at all. You can see on this nail like it's starting to look like a duck nail kind of <laughs> because I um I, like I didn't carry it fast enough and it started to run to the sides But that's why I take my brush like my actual poly gel brush and I kind of clean up the sides often because it's getting that duck shape Which of course I just fixed with filing but this set was making me laugh do any of you guys watch Emily Susanna She's a nail tuber as well um, her YouTube videos make me laugh so much because like when she does her nails she's so messy like during her nails and her tutorials I'm like what is she doing like these look freaking crazy and then she files them and they look absolutely stunning <laughs> by the way did you see how i just turned my nail over like that and let it hang over um upside down that's because um since this builder gel itself levels if you turn it over and hold it upside down the pot the builder gel will collect in the middle and actually create a really nice apex for you so little tip or trick that you can use if you have these and if you don't have these and you would like to purchase them the owners of the cottage kind and shrub nails uh, sparkles and shari those are their names they are have been so kind to me you guys and they are offering my subscribers a 10 percent off discount code on all of their products on their website the discount code is going to be, of course, Slay by J. So at checkout, you guys can use that. I save you guys some money. She's going to be adding some more new fun things to her site soon. But yeah, I just think that's so cool that they're offering my subscribers that. And in return, they're also going to be giving me a little bit of commission from that too. So it's also, you know, like another way you guys can support me in the channel as well. So thank you so much, Sherry and Sparkles. You guys have made my day. I love doing this stuff, you guys. This is my passion. It makes me so happy. And there's nothing else I'd rather do. So yeah, and don't forget on Tuesday, I'm going to be having another murder mystery. So I'm all done with the nails. I'm taking off the forms and the builder gel does leave a sticky residue. And I'm going to remove that with some acetone. And yeah, here are they are after they're all filed. I skipped the filing today too. I'm sorry. So iMethod Beauty reached out to me and wanted to send me some of their products. One of the things I got was top coat, matte coat, and base coat. You guys this stuff is so good i'll have it linked in the description I, it's really really good price I, I i don't really comment much on base coats and top coats because i feel like they're all pretty much the same nope 
I don't know what this company is doing, but my nails, like the top coat is out is 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 alien. It's so cool. It's like it makes my nails super soft. Look how beautiful. So this is what the nails look like before I put um, charms on. But so I'm taking the top coat and I'm just going to top all my nails. I'm not using any rhinestone glue today because this top coat is magic. The feeling of it, the consistency, and how soft my nails are. Like it's so weird. I keep rubbing my nails because the feeling of them is just like awesome. And then I'm also doing a little bit of rhinestone work. I'm doing the same thing on each of the nails. I'm just doing it by the cuticles. So I think I only show like one nail, I think. You guys know how I am with rhinestones. Don't judge me. I'm so bad at filming them. So I forgot to film myself using the Shreb Nails cuticle oil like a dummy. I'll do that in my next video, but trust me, it's so good. Um, so yeah, I'm going to finish doing that, rub that all in, and then I'm going to be all finished. I hope that you guys like this tutorial. I hope that you enjoyed these short nails. I hope you learned something. I hope you'll go and check her site out. <laughs> Thank you again so much to Shrub Nails. Thank you to all my amazing subscribers for getting to these videos. I love you guys more than words can describe and I will see you on Tuesday for a true crime, murder, mystery, and nails. See you guys. Have a great day. Bye.